And Joe Biden's West Asia distress is soaring with every new day following the U.S. intelligence report on slain journalist Jamal Khashoggi's murder. Some significant changes will be announced by U.S. on Monday. Meanwhile, two days after U.S. carried out airstrikes against facilities belonging to Iranian-backed militia in eastern Syria, Iraqi Foreign Minister Fahad Hussein met with his Iranian counterpart Mohammad Javad Zarif during a visit to Tehran. An Iraqi militia official close to Iran and a said that the strikes killed one fighter and wounded four. U.S. officials said that they were limited in scope to show Biden's administration will act firmly while trying to avoid a big regional escalation. Warning Iran to be careful, Biden had said Iran cannot act with impunity. Iran's top security official Ali Shamkhani said that we will confront the U.S plan to revive tourism in the region. Washington and Tehran are seeking maximum leverage in attempts to save Iran's nuclear deal reached with world powers in 2015, but abandoned in 2018 by then-President Donald Trump. Amid escalating tensions between U.S. and Iran, an explosion has struck the Israeli-owned cargo ship sailing out of the Middle East. The ship was a vehicle carrier named MV Helios Ray. The cause was not immediately clear and no casualties were reported. Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz said that initial assessments as Iran was responsible for the explosion. He also said that Iran was looking to hit Israeli infrastructure and Israeli citizens. האיראנים מחפשים לפגוע בתשתיות ישראליות או באזרחים ישראלים ובכלל בכל מה שקשור באיזשהו אופן למדינת ישראל. המיקום של הספינה בסמיכות יחסית לאיראן בשלב הזה מביא את המחשבה שיש הערכה שמדובר באיראנים, אבל זה כאמור דבר שצריכים להמשיך לבדוק אותו. ישראל תמשיך לפעול בכל מקום.